Have you been to the porch in Arcadia? Just opened up over Thanksgiving. And of course we have Chef Paul Lindsay who is in our kitchen this morning. Who's actually, um, you made kind of a, a few cool items that are light and airy and perfect yes, for going, spring. Yes, going into the summer, it's really appropriate to have that. People eat, obviously the heat's coming, so people eat a lot lighter right. come summer Or people heat. should eat a lot lighter. They I'm not should. necessarily one of them. But you've inspired me today, Chef. Okay, I so hope so. We're talking about a kale salad that, like I said, is not just any kale salad. What is unique about this kale? So it's a blend of baby kale and a blend of black Tuscan kale. Um, two different flavor profiles, but eat really, really well. Um, kale is all the rage, of course. Yeah. Um, Which one is the black Tuscan kale? So I already have a julienne oh, in, okay. in there. It's very similar to the to the baby. Is that that's not the uh, dinosaur kale, is it? It is. Oh, yeah, it, it goes is. Goes by the same term. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, they do have two different flavors. Yep. I've never had baby kale yeah. before. Yeah. So it it doesn't to me it's not as bitter. Uh, oh, eats, you're right. It's a little cleaner than, yeah. than the black Tuscan Some of kale dinosaur. can really be quite yes. nasty, right? Yes, absolutely. Especially absolutely. if it's been in a bag for a while, it stinks. For Whew. sure. All right, so we have baby kale and Tuscan kale or black kale. Yes, okay. either or. You okay. can buy a local grocery store anywhere. All right. um, I roasted some cashews, chopped them up. I'm going to put those in. Okay. Uh, gives it a great crunch. Okay, before you do that, before you dump this in there, let's talk about this because this looks delicious. So. I do a little bit of a marinade on the red flame grapes, uh, the red bell peppers, there's chives, parmesan, and I do a little bit of the uh, the cash, cashew vinaigrette. That's quite a different combination, parmesan and, and grapes? Yeah, so it's all about balance. So the parmesan, it's salty, and then the grapes are sweet, so it's a salty-sweet combination. Ooh, ooh, I'll try. Yes, please do. I've never had a grape with parmesan cheese on it before. It's quite interesting. Quite tasty. Yeah. Quite tasty. Yeah. All right. Let me dump it yeah, in. Yeah, let's dump it in. The whole thing? Okay. And you marinated it, you said, with this dressing. What's in this dressing? So it's got Dijon mustard, extra virgin olive oil, uh, pureed cashews to make a paste, very mm -hmm. similar to a peanut butter, and then mm. uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we do champagne vinegar. Oh, that looks amazing. And this is on the menu? On Is it on? Is, it is. This could be a meal. I guess it, you could serve absolutely. it up with the and it's great with, with a side of protein if you wanted yeah, it, right? Yeah, shrimp or chicken. Oh man, shrimp would taste so good on this. Again, it's all about balance of flavors, so anything on there would be fantastic. Did you come up with this? I did. That's why you're the chef, but and every, I'm not. But everybody and their brother has a kale salad, so yeah, you know, I know. But, That's why I'm saying this is different. It's you a should different offer. twist. And then I also like to finish it with the cashews. roasted cashews. I like it. And then some fresh picked cilantro on top. What about the tomatoes and, and the avocado and, and so the jalapeno? Avocado is, is, a, is a big one for sure. Um, tomatoes are always good. Great for men, lycopene, um, good yeah. for the prostate. Yeah. Um, today's show was rather interesting with everything we discussed. So men pay attention if you want to keep up with you yes. know, gals like we had on earlier. Yeah, we learned about elderly vaginas and you know, dating, and now we're talking food. You learned a lot on this show today, I'm didn't complete. You? My life we is complete. We learned how to make a salad, and you learned all about vaginal rejuvenation. Yeah, so we're good. <laughs> You're good. All right, what about that? What are you going to do so with this? So this is a roasted jalapeno um, done on the grill. On the grill? Yeah. So you does like it spicy? give it a different flavor? It does. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, I do like spicy. I like spicy a lot. Do you keep the seeds in them? I do, always. Okay. Are you giving that to me to eat? If you would want, if you so <laughs> no, desire. No, because then I won't be able to finish talking. I'll be choking. So when people come to the restaurant and they say, hey, I saw Chef Paul on Sonoran Living, what are they going to get? So we're not offering the paycheck this time. We're just going to do 20% <laughs> off their whole meal. So well, they just need to, to say that they saw me on Sonoran Living. All right. And there you go, right there. PorchArcadia.com is the website if you want to look it up. They're at 4017 East Indian School Road. And you're coming back tomorrow. I am going yeah. to be here in the morning. Okay, we're all we're dis excited. discussing what he's going to be making tomorrow. <laughs> you're going to bring the apple dip. Apple, yes. what is it, apple pie dip? Is it that is. what it is? Yeah. So I'm bringing that now okay. instead of what I was going to bring. No, you can bring so whatever you're going to bring today. Too. Pickler and